What are the top fitness trends in 2014? Well, more than 3,800 fitness professionals weighed in on that. And to tell us what the survey says, here's our expert personal fitness trainer, Allie McWilliams. So, Allie, there were 20 top trends, and you look at those, and you picked your favorite five. Yes, and I the, did. And the first one is high-intensity training, or HIT. I'm yeah, assuming. the yeah, HIT. Okay. So what is that? So that is a quick burst mm -hmm. of energy and then a recovery so like if you're out jogging you would sprint for a couple blocks and then okay. you jog for a couple blocks and what's the advantage to that oh it's great time so it's very efficient and then okay. it's very effective so you burn a lot of calories in a short amount of time so it's the number one that they picked on okay. the list it's the one it's the hot thing and we're all busy for time so hit is the number popular. one hit it's, okay it is number two is body weight training yes the good old classic is back so it is just your good old self so it's your mm -hmm. push-ups and your pull-ups and your planks and your squats so jumping it, jacks even yeah and you you don't need any big equipment or anything expensive so I can even do jumping jacks. You can. You can do lots of things. <laughs> Number three on this list of uh, most popular trends is strength training. Yes, one of my favorite. It's mm -hmm. very important for us women and men to be lifting weights at least twice a week. So not only is it great for our muscles, but our, our bones and our posture as well. So it's very important to get that in. And I thought this next one is great because it might help an affordability standpoint. It's called group personal training. Yeah, that's fantastic. I love that this is out and it's been pretty popular the last couple of years is more people now have access to professionals to learn proper form and feel safe with what they're doing and then they have other people to motivate them so it's it's a lot less you know expensive for them to do it yeah that i way. think having two or three people there with you it, yeah it, it might be motivating it gives you encouragement and that kind of thing and right. it might save you a little money so. exactly and number five on your list of the top five is wellness coaching what's that all yes about? it's one of my favorite now that i am a wellness coach is that people come they meet you where you're at and they help guide you through the process. So instead of telling you all the time, which doesn't necessarily work, it's like it depends on how busy you are and how stressed you are, mm -hmm. and they create awareness and help you move through your obstacles and what's getting in the way and kind of coach you along instead of tell okay. you. They're kind of meeting you where you're at. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. And that, those are just five of the top 20 that all these 3,800 yep. professionals chose. And you can read about all of them. There's a link on your blog at AllieMcWilliams.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll put a link to her blog at newslinks at NBC15.com where you've got a list of 10. You expand upon what we just talked about now. So yep. have a great weekend. It Thanks might be a good weekend too. to get out and start one of these now. So we'll have a final check of the forecast after the break.